G'day, guys. How are you? Uh, just doing a little uh, test vlog to see if I can do live streaming from my lovely computer. Yes. So, yeah, so I'm just doing a little test. Uh, Phil, more than welcome to come in. Uh, I'm not going to bite <coughs> unless you're mean and I'm mean back. <laughs> But no, this is ba I'm just basically going to be trying to do a monthly hangout type, monthly hangout type thing, uh, just for the time being, uh, where I can discuss uh, models, movies, games, uh, basically just trying to. Um, I'm trying to expand myself so that I can so that I can get a little better if I can get a little bit more a little better at my life stuff when I come to uh, when I come to across the pond and the amazing plastics and stuff like that but uh, this is going to be fun I'm, going, I'm hoping to make it fun and I'm hoping to make it uh, Fun, entertaining, and also a little bit of knowledge too. So I thought that I would start out with my movie collection. And this is going to be a good movie collection. So hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the box sets, and then I'm going to go. Then I'm going to go with the single ones. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Okay, this is going to be really cool. I think you'll like it. To start off with, my first movie that I'm going to show you is. Uh, this these groups of movies have been these this group of movies has been with me since I was knee high to a grasshopper. Most people know this, and most people know who I'm what I'm talking about. This is Star Trek. This is Star Trek. This is the all the movies from. Hang on, let me see. From the motion picture to the undiscovered country. That's the original. That's the original. Original movies. Hang on a second. Let me just. Trying to get this the right way around so that I can. Uh, try to get this the right way around. So hang on a second. Let him up a little bit. Hang on a minute. Let's turn it down a little bit. Uh, hang on. Control room. Gee, he's trying to find him. <laughs> okay. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I'm new at this. Ah, there we are. Excellent. Now I'm more front center and I. Okay. So just put the lower third there. No, that's not going to work for me. Okay. All right. So. All right, now where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, now, the second one, this has got Star Trek, the next generation movies, seven and nine, which means Generations, First Contact, Insurrection, and Nemesis. I know most people don't like Nemesis. I happen to love it. Although, when I saw it in the theater, uh, 
I, I thought it was better in the theater, to be honest. Better in the theater. Uh, this also comes with uh, the Captain's Summit, which is a five-part interview with William Shatner, the late, great Leonard Nimoy, Sir Patrick Stewart, and Jonathan Thrakes. So that's the, the two captains, the two first officers, and hosted by Whoopi Goldberg. And that was a laugh. That th This is a really good set. Really good set. Right. Next one. Now, it's no surprise what my next one is because, let me put it this way, most people who know me really well, I'm talking about this all the time. Of course, it's the other great movie. This is the Star Wars Blu-ray series. This has got one, two, three, four, five, six, and each of the discs has the deleted, well, there's nine discs. You get a little booklet. Well, I actually, actually, I should show you the booklet. This is brilliant. You've got little pictures. That's from episode one. That's Darth Maul. Brilliant character. Brilliant character. And then that's from Attack of the Clones. <coughs> you know, there's a little joke here that my friend, my wife and I have. This is just after the scene where Anakin turns to Padme and he says, oh, if you're hurting as much as I am, please, if you're suffering as much as I am, please tell me. Oh, let me think. Yes! Absolutely. The only thing I like about Attack of the Clones is the first part, uh, the fight with Obi-Wan and Jango Fett and the beginning of the Clone Wars. Just that. The rest of the movie can go and suck a lemon as far as I'm finally concerned. Ah, ah, now, this movie is best. Revenge of the Sith. This was a great movie. This movie is the one that brings the whole thing full circle. So you can see Revenge of the Sith and then go and see uh, New Hope and you'll be able to understand how Anakin turned to the dark side. Mind you, it's a pretty pathetic reason why he turned to the dark side. Spoiler alert! Oh, of course, 77, A New Hope. I never got, unfortunately, I never got to see this in the theatre. <laughs> but my wife did, and I hate her for it. No, I don't really hate her for it. She knows I'm only joking. <laughs> Hang on, I might be in the doghouse after that one. Yeah, cross fingers, no. Touch wood. So, yeah, that, that's probably one of my favourites. New Hope. Ah, <laughs> my absolute favourite. The Empire Strikes Back. Love that movie. Need not we say much about The Empire Strikes Back because I know what people think about it and I love it too. And then there's Return of the Jedi. What can you say about that? One of the best lightsaber jewels ever. Next to Obi-Wan and Anakin. This is the catalyst. This is where Anakin comes back. Spoiler alert again. Hate me if you want to. I don't care. And there's some lovely pictures with one of my favorite characters. Boba Fett. Right there. Oh, now, <laughs> this is a funny scene. I don't think Han would really much appreciate these Ewoks. After all, they did try to kill him. Spoiler alert again. I don't know what to make of this picture. I really don't. That that creature there looks like, like that creature there looks like a Tom Tom. It looks more like a Doctor. Of course, you know who these two are: three PO and R two. Oh, and here's all the credits for the prequels and the original trilogy. But that that's oh. <laughs> This is one of my favorite scenes. This, this is the scene where the first time the Falcon loses its dish, spoiler alert again. That was too close, as Lando says. But no, this was great. This, 
I got this for my 39th, 39th, 38th birthday. But as you can see, these are some of this is the on the disc you've got Yoda. You've got Yoda. Count Dooku. Emperor Palpatine. On Revenge of the Sith. Of course, everyone's favorite Jedi. Master Kenobi. Especially my daughter's, by the way. She's turned into a real Kenobi fan. <laughs> Not as much as this bloke, though. Chewie! On episode five. I'll try and do my best Chewbacca. Well, that sounds like a yawn, doesn't it? No, but there you go. Then, of course, Vader's on... Vader's on... Return of the Jedi. And then you've got 3PO. Oh, he's upside down. <laughs> Lando. And, of course, everybody's favourite droid, R2. So that's the Star Wars one. This one, this one's brilliant. I have got nearly... Okay, let's see. The only format I don't have Star Wars on... It's VHS. Nope. <laughs> I did have, though. I did have. I, I did have one VHS. It was the 2004 one with the slip cover. And that was done in, I don't know, that wasn't 2004. The silver DVD was 2004. The videos was 2000, I think. Not quite sure. Ah, uh, now. Nah. This one's my newest one. This one has been. This one was being rumored time and time and time again until actually released it. The nineteen ninety, the nineteen sixty six TV series Batman with the late great Adam West, Burt Ward, Julie Newmar, Cesar Romero, Vincent Price, uh, Burgess Meredith. Um, John Aston, Eartha Kitt, Lee Mayweather. Whoops, that was the movie. I haven't got that. I haven't got the Batman movie yet. Well, the 66 version I haven't got. Uh, who else was there? There was Louis the Lilac. That was Uncle Mitty, Uncle Merle. That was uh, on, uh, Milton Bell. That was Milton Bell. My favorite villain in this one? Oh, it's good. There's only one. Cesar Romero. I love Cesar Romero as the Joker in this. Next to Jack Nicholson, and then closely after that, Heath Ledger. Namesake. Now, this is another new one of mine. My wife surprised me one day when she came home with this. This is all nine films. The five Superman films and the five and the four 90s films. Of Batman. So basically, what we got here comes in still case. Comes in still case. Love it. So we've got, let's see. We've got the extended version of Superman the movie. This is a 78 version. We've got the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2. Superman 3. Oh, I'm sorry. They should never have... This is the Attack of the Clones of the Superman franchise. Superman 3. Kill it! This one I did not mind. The Quest for Peace. Is it Quest for Peace? Yep, that's Quest for Peace. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian Singer. You should have stuck with the X-Men movies. I'm sorry. You're not a Superman movie maker. I'm sorry. This one I did. I saw in the theater. I didn't like it. Brandon Roth was oh. The only thing that that the only thing that keeps this that I keep watching this movie for is for a man who's been in the news for all the wrong reasons. And that's Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor. But I'm not going to hold that against it. Ah. <laughs> My absolute 
favorite Batman, Michael Keaton. I have seen this film nearly 30 times and I still love watching it. It is brilliant. Love this film. Tim Burton really outdone some. Tim Burton brings out the Frank Miller, the Frank Miller uh, darkness of Batman. Not as dark as The Dark Knight Rises or The Dark Knight that Christopher Nolan did, but this is pretty close to it. And The Dark Knight trilogy is also another good one too. I haven't got that, but I'll have to look for that one. Batman Returns, that's another good one too. I particularly love Michael Keaton's brilliant again as Batman. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, brilliantly brilliant as Catwoman. And, of course, Danny DeVito as the Penguin, and I thought that was brilliant. Although the storyline to Batman Returns I couldn't quite get into because it's not the, – the Penguin in this one is not like – you have to go into Batman Returns like thinking the Penguin is like Burgess Mer – no, it's not. It's a lot darker. It's a lot more grittier, a lot more grittier than, uh, than the 66 Batman. And, of course, we haven't seen the Penguin in the Nolan films yet. Um, okay, when it comes to the last two Batman films, I'm sorry, I prefer this one over this schlock. Bat nipples? Really? Joel Schumacher has a lot to answer for for this one. The only saving grace in this movie is that car there, the Batmobile. That's it. That's the only saving grace for that film. The rep, George Clooney. Who said that George Clooney could be Batman? Ah! But if I had a choice of watching for Batman Forever or Batman and Robin, that one comes out first. Val Kilmer was probably next to Michael Keaton, the best Batman, after Ben Affleck. And speaking of said Ben Affleck, I, now, this is the ultimate edition of Batman v Superman. In my opinion, Next to Christopher Reeve, the best Superman, Henry Cavill. And in my opinion, the best Batman, next to Mike Keaton, Ben Affleck. Although you don't see Superman very much in this movie, you only see Superman marginally halfway through it. But when it's, when it, oh, when it's on, when it's on between these two, Batman and Superman, that's when, the, that's when it hits the fan. That's when it hits the fan, but I'm not going to spoil any more in case you haven't seen it. But if you have seen it, and if you haven't seen it, this is a good film. In my opinion, I'll give it four heaps out of five. Actually, no, I'll give it five bats. I'll give it four bats out of five. Now, now, we've, now we're changing pace. We've had the super fans, we've had the science fiction films. We've had the superhero films. Now we're going to the race, the car, my other subject, my other favorite subject, the racing films. And this, in my opinion, is not it. I'm sorry, Mr. Scientologist. The only thing that I like about this film is the, is the NASCAR, is the NASCAR element of it. Otherwise, this is just a basic clone of Top Gun. Just a different, just a different atmosphere, different sport where Top Gun's dealing with planes. This is dealing with racing. It's but you watch Top Gun and then you go watch this, and I'll tell you what, it's an absolute clone. An absolute clone to the letter. Gets in the car, he gets in the plane, he goes into Top Gun. He loses, he has a crash, he comes back. Loses his nerve. He leaves. Comes back. Same deal with this, but told with a different vein. Wins. Has a nasty crash. Comes back. Wins Daytona. Why or why I bought this, I'll never know. Now, this is a race film. This was done by the one and only one Howard. This is a good film. Rush, I fully endorse this movie. If you like Formula One as much as I do, this movie's the way to go. Dead 
set. We have Australia's Chris Hemsworth playing James Hunt, who strangely looks like James. If you have a look at an actual picture of James Hunt and you put Chris Hemsworth up against him, almost identical. Also the same with Daniel Brühl with Nicky Lauda. This film is a great. It could also it could all, it could also be called a movie mentry, if you can call it that. But this is a great film. I think it was written. It was very well written, very well directed, very well starred. And this is all about the '76 World Championship season. That's all I'm going to say about that. If you like your F1 racing as much as I do. Get this movie. This movie's brilliant. I give it a five star. And just when you think that we've just finished with the sci-fi, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, we've still got what? We've still got, uh, let's see, four, five, four to go. No explanation needed. The single best Star Trek film of all time. The Wrath of Khan. Some people say that The Voyage Home is the best Star Trek film. I'm sorry. Two, three words. Wrath of Khan. No need explanation for this. Five phases. Uh, what can be said about these two? Hmm? Although this one's in 3D, this one's not. So I might as well just keep them together like that. When I first saw this in the theatre, I thought it was brilliant. I thought J.J. Abrams did a great job. How wrong was I? Another basic clone of Star, Star Wars Episode Four. I'm sorry. That is a clone of Episode Four. Goodbye. Need not be said, no explanation needed for this one. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This explains everything up to, this explains everything up to episode four. So that need not be explained. What can I say about this next film? The Final Countdown. Love this film. I saw it on video. I actually recorded this on a little thing called video back in, you know, the 1980s. I don't know if I can call this sci-fi or time traveling. I think I might call it time traveling because this ship here, the USS Nimitz, which is my favorite aircraft carrier, and it has my favorite squadron in it, the AJs, the Jolly Rogers, which I've got a model of, but I'll explain that later. This is a great film. I love this film. It stars Kirk Douglas, Martin Sheen, and James Farentino. James Farentino plays the uh, – Kirk Douglas plays, plays the captain. James Farentino plays the CAG, who is the head pilot. And Martin Sheen plays uh, someone who's visiting the ship when this – whirlpool type time traveling this this thing here comes in takes the nimbus takes it back to world war ii and that's all i'm gonna say about it no spoiler alerts here i'm sorry mm -mm. now what can you say about these next two films they star my favorite actor arnold schwarzenegger come on do it this one I remember seeing first, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. They should have left it at this movie. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. I don't like 3, and I don't like Salvation, and I certainly don't like Genesis. Terminator Genesis, no. They should have left it at 2. That is it. Enough said about that. i still got to get the first Terminator, though. I'm still going to get the first Terminator because that one and this one, they all align. The original and the best, Total Recall. 
Forget that Colin Farrell one. That one can out. This is the Arnold. This is the Arnold one. See you at the party, Richter. When he chops off his arms. But this is a great film. I love it. One of my both these both films are one of my favorite, except for Twins. Twins was good too. I watched that one of Arnold's too. That's that's a good one too. But I also watched Kindergarten Cop as well. But when it comes to Arnold, these two. So that's my little movie collection there. I've got plenty more where that came from, but I can't be bothered to go getting them. Okay? No, I was I? That's the other way around. <laughs> Hands like, folks, hands like. Right. So, uh, but basically, this was supposed to be just a test vlog. It went a little bit over. My apologies for that one. What can I say? I just love the camera. But anyway, guys. I'll, you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all later. Uh, this will be a monthly thing where I'll be talking about, like, models and stuff like that, movies, books, and stuff like that. This is just a bit of an offside thing that I'm doing. So, anyway, guys, you take care of yourself, and remember, be fun, have fun, and I'll see you all later. Live long and prosper.